Good afternoon, YouTube, and thank you very much for watching Page of Styles. So I'm a returning viewers. Thank you very much for your continued support. And for the newcomers, if you find the content to be informative and entertaining, please like, comment, and subscribe. So today, I'm going to give you a list of 12 niche fragrances, one per month. Let's hop right into it. So, for the month of January here in Buffalo, New York, it's extremely cold, a lot of snow. It can be anywhere from negative 10 with the wind chill, maybe hit 10 degrees. 20 degrees is a very, very warm day for the month of January. And for that type of weather, you need something that's going to cut right through it, still be appealing. So, I'm going with the House of Montal, and this is... Red, a U. Beautiful rose and oud combination. Very strong. Definitely is going to get through that winter, um, that cold chill. I'm, I'm sad because I got it right after the winter ended, but just testing it on my skin. This is definitely, definitely going to get through the winter chill. So for January, Montau, Red, a U. For the month of February, Valentine's Day is still cold, but just the day of Valentine's evokes some sweet, chocolatey. And I was thinking about chocolate greedy at first for this selection, because I got a sample of that, but I found something I like a lot. I like two times better than I like chocolate greedy. And that's from the House of Gallagher Fragrances, and that is Wicked Good. Chocolate, Madagascar, Vanilla, Tonka Bean. When I say this is a realistic milk chocolate accord or note or smell, I mean, yeah, the chocolate may last two, maybe two and a half hours. Then you're just going to get the vanilla and sweetness. But if I'm out on a Valentine's date, I don't need that much time. The date is not going to be eight hours. So... And I, I just feel like it's the most realistic chocolate. Like, chocolate greedy is okay to me. I mean, when I first got it, I loved it until I got that. Then I was like, oh, this blows it out the water threefold to me in my nose, in my skin. So, for the month of February, Wicked Good Gallagher Fragrances. For the month of March, March is still generally cold. It still might be snowing here. It might be as low as 10 degrees. It might get as high as 40. I wanted something that can cover all occasions, plus comes off beautiful on my skin, especially if it's closer to the 10 or 20 degree mark. So I went with Mancera Vanille Exclusive. Beautiful peach, whipped cream, brown sugar. I mean, this is beautiful. I mean, if I did wasn't so asphyxiated with chocolate for February, this could have went with February too, or even November. Because of, you know, the cooking and sweet potato pie, pumpkin pie, whatever you eat. But this right here, projection is good on my skin. It's not beast mode like a lot of other Mancera's, but it's going to get the job done when it's very cold outside. And since the projection is a little toned down on my skin, if it do get as warm as 40 degrees or even 50, which would be a heat wave in March in Buffalo, New York, this can cover all temperatures. So for the month of March, Vanille Exclusive Mancera. Now for the month of April, it's pretty much warming up. It can get as low as 30. It can get as high as 55, sometimes 60, which is not too often, but it could. And for that, just for the fact that it's still cool, I wanted something that would cut through the coolness, but it's not too cloying if it do get warm. And this to me is perfect for the month of April here. And this is from Sammy Andros, and it is my favorite out the line, AU Space. Oud, Vanilla, Amber, Turkish Rose. All of those is gonna jump out at you. For them to be an indie house, it is blended extremely, extremely well. You're gonna have to wear this, you know, a few times to really start picking out every note and nuance of this. But just from the smell point and from how it performs, I think this is perfect for an April in Buffalo, New York. 
And once again, a huge space from Sammy Andros. For the month of May, now we're starting to get warm. It's going to be between 60. It might get up to 80 some days. It could be rainy, overcast. It could be very sunny, dry, or humid. And I wanted something to start resembling summer to me. Something that's just going to start get me motivated to have a great summer. So I went with the House of Navitus Parfums, and I went with Viva More. It's funny as all because I got this in April or May and I wore it a lot. And even during this pandemic, I had sprayed one, two, three. I had sprayed five sprays of this. Was with my um, girlfriend and the, and the family. Went through a McDonald's drive through And the lady in the drive through window was like, yo, that that's you smelling good. I love that fragrance. That right there set off my whole month of May this year. Um beautiful it got the fruity over notes i mean it's dark enough to where i mean heft enough to where rejection is great for the first two two and a half almost three hours i mean great it lasts long on my skin and got me around seven hours which for my extremely dry skin seven eight hours that's that's perfect longevity for me because nothing really goes that far the my the red au do rival that, but for the month of May, Viva, Viva More Parfum from Navitus Parfum. For the month of June, June you might have, you know, just, you have a lot of weddings, graduations, it's hot. Most of the rain done subsided from May. You know, you got new growth, new birth. And, and this just to me symbolizes the month of June where you might have to be sophisticated. You still want to be smooth. You might be casual some days. You might get sophisticated for those weddings and formal occasions. Now I went with the House of Creed, Cidre Blanc. An extremely citrus and definitely woody with the cedar fragrance. You can dress it down to a t-shirt if you want to. Me, I generally like to keep it casual. Oxford, but short sleeve button up, polo. I mean, I could see somebody pulling formal off with this, um, especially an outside wedding, outside graduation. This is going to fit all bills. So for the month of June, from Creed, Cedre Blanc. Now, I know I said 12 fragrances, I lied, because I got an honorable mention slash two parts for the month of July. So for July during the day, I'm gonna go with the house of Aqua de Parma from the blue Mediterranean line, Arancia de Capri. One of the most photorealistic orange notes you're gonna get in the game. This is a beautiful, beautiful fragrance with the orange, woody dry down, subtle floral nuance. But once again, it's from the, it gotta be from the orange. I wouldn't be shocked if it had petty gray or orange blossom with it because the orange is so realistic. Just the downfall of this, it don't last long. So for when it don't last long, hopefully you can get to the evening, that five, six o'clock mark where Things are starting to cool down. This is where you pull this out. It's from the house of Lawrence Dumont, Les Centaurs Gourmands line, Figuet Sauvage, or Wild Fig No. You're going to get fig. You're going to get vanilla, Tonka. I mean, this is just a beautiful gourmand, and it's for the summer because it's light. It's very light and airy. It's not going to get cloying. You're going to have to go 20, 25 sprays for it to even reach to think about being cloying. This doesn't last too long either. You might give five hours, four hours of extremely usable fragrance, that fifth hour, straight skin scent. But if you want to change it up and wear a gourmand, and we're talking about niche, so we can't put Chanel Edition Blanche in this. Figuet Sauvage from the Les Centaurs Gourmands line. 
for the month of August. We have yet another tie. During the day, it be it's going to be blazing in August. I mean, it's going to generally always be between 79. You might get up to 90. Might get a few rainy days, but just for that hot August month, and just to finish it off, to start off your morning, you want something fresh and invigorating, especially if it's just really hot and muggy. And for that, I'm going to go with, from the House of Lardison Parfumore, Mon Numero 9. This is excessively citrus, excessively rhubarb fragrance. I mean, if, if, if this can't get you refreshed, exhilarated, and ready for your day, I don't believe really no fresh fragrance can. This is not aquatic. This is strictly Eau de Cologne style 4711, but to me, three to four times better. That citrus and that rhubarb is just to me to die for. I mean, it's just so breathtaking. When I first got my nose on it, this might be my favorite blind buy of, well, actually late 2019 in the winter months, but so for the early days, early mornings, early afternoons in August, my numero nine from Lardison Parfumore. And for the afternoon going into the evening and even nighttime from the house of Mancera, Cedrat Boise. As most of y'all know, this is one of the best creative vintages inspired or clone-like fragrances. You're going to get the pineapple or apple, lemon, citruses. Smell like it's black currant in here. You're going to get the little smoky nature. And just like Creed, it got batch variations. Some people get as heavy on the citrus and the projection performance lasts forever. And some people claim that it's not too much citrus. It's smokier and the performance is pedestrian. Mines, I think I got midway for the fact this easily lasts on me six and a half seven hours and the citrus is generally there for the first two and a half going on three before it starts to evolve and transform into the mid and base notes predominantly so for the month of august once again my numero nine cedrat boise from mancera now for the month of september fall is starting school is starting most of the time you have your back to school or back to work, physicals, medical appointments, dental appointments, eye appointments, taking your kids to school, meet their new teachers, and just the start of fall, whatever that encompasses that season, that start. And, and it's my birthday month, so I always like to feel regal and king-like. I had to go with Juice for the World for this one. And most people who've seen my videos know Juice for the World it's a Harov signature pour on. When you want to release that inner regality, if that's a word, if it's not, I'm about to copyright it. But when you just want to release that inner king in you, you nobody has to tell you you're the man. That confidence is already dwelled within. Just wear this. Go to a job interview. You're probably going to get it. Go to a doctor's office. You're definitely going to be definitely going to turn heads. Even if they don't give you a compliment, this smells extremely good. And I like the purple juice. I mean, that was like a, a the color of purple is like royalty in some countries and cultures anyway. Perfect when you want to bring out the inner king, the inner CEO in you. So for the month of September, the Harov Signature Pour On. Now for the month of October, Halloween, leaves falling, they're changing. I don't know, something about this fragrance reminds me of that. You want something, you know, have dense enough to cut through the cold air, but won't get too cloying because it's not too, too cold in October as of yet. I mean, some years it have began to snow here in Buffalo, New York, but that's beside the point. But even if it did snow, it is dense enough to cut through that. And from the house of Initio, Oud for greatness. This, uh, this is just a beautiful fragrance that I don't haven't smelled too many like it before it came out. Yes, I have smelled insp inspired by fragrances since it came out, but 
I mean, I have Versace Purim Oud Noir. I have the M7 two formulations of that. Once again, the Rose and Ayu, but this the, the Oud in this is a little bit different than all of them, except one, which is going to be further down in the list. But just for the cool days, or even cold days in October, to match the, the leaves transitioning from the House of Initio, Oud for greatness. I can't wait to get a bottle of this. That bottle's going to look good on my dresser. Now, for the month of November, you got your food cooking, you got Thanksgiving, just the holiday seasons. This this smell to me just resembles the holiday season. And there's once again another one shot from the house of Gallagher Fragrances. Rose all day. When I was going to work with it last <laughs> last year, everybody said, yo, that smells like my grandmother's. Not my grandmother's, but their grandmother's apple pie. And that's what it, you get. You get the apple pie, the vanilla on top, the cinnamon. I mean, I know a lot of people like Wajan from Parfums de Marley, but I like this one better. And the projection and performance on this is definitely beast mode. Hope he hasn't changed the, the chemical breakdown of it because with this one, I'm getting, oh, I'm definitely getting 10, 11 hours with this. On clothes, I put it on my clothes, it was even worse because it was still there two weeks later. Projection, beast mode for the first two and a half hours, that third and fourth hour, it finally becomes within arm's length. I was killing people at work with this. <laughs> they didn't send me home because I do collections and I, and I do my thing with that, but I was killing the office with this. So for the month of November from Gallagher Fragrances, Rosé, all day. And to bring, to finish out the year, month of December, Christmas time, gifts, being with the loved ones, just once again, somehow, when I thought about it, this was one of the top two that came to mind for this month. And another one from the house of Mancera, Instant Crush. This here right here is heavy enough where it's going to cut through a New York winter, especially a Buffalo, New York winter. You got the lake effect from Lake Erie, Lake Ontario. It gets extremely cold. The snow is coming down by the foot. Might be negative 10 with the wind chill. Might be <laughs> eight feet of snow outside. People will smell you once if they don't have to have any mask on. Hell, even with the mask on. Because I'll be wearing this sometimes at night going to 7-Eleven just to see if I'm going to get a compliment or head turns, which I have. Um, but this is just a beautiful fragrance. And this is inspired by the Oof for Greatness by Initio. I mean, that's what I get kind of to my nose, um, especially with, you know, part of the dry down, mid dry down, beginning early parts of the final stages of the dry down. I do get a lot of Oof for Greatness um, feeling from this. But... For the month of December, Mancera Instant Crush. So, those is my one or two niche fragrances for each month for the year. Um, if you like the content, you know what to do. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Um, We're going to keep trying to, you know, pull out these videos, bring new fragrances to the forefront that hasn't been hyped. Meanwhile, in this life, Let's grow and evolve it together. And in the book of life, please turn to the page of styles. Y'all have a good one.